Last week you practiced on making a pinch pot. We looked at the sheet. You all got to practice touching the clay. We've been through all the videos. So you will have a piece of clay and this is too small. So I'm going to grab another little piece of clay. And like I said, you might have a slab. Okay. So here's my big ball of clay and you have manila folders, which I decided we're going to use this year. You want all these little clay balls put on them. You can take it at the end, which is nice about this. You can fold it up like this, dump that in the trash so we don't have any mess. Okay. So I have a big ball of clay. What I want you to do, you're going to do bells. So I'm going to take off a little piece that I think would be good for a handle. Okay. Then what is my first step of making a pinch pot? That's right. I'm going to roll it into a ball. Move your hand around, roll it into a ball. Then step number two was to put your thumb in the center. And then what are we doing? We're pressing and turning, pressing and turning and moving, pressing and turning and moving, pressing and turning and moving. And still have the little marks in the center. That's okay. And you want to get it as even as you can and take a look at it. You know, maybe you want to get both your hands in there after you've already made your bowl. Now, if you look artist, it's starting to crack. So that's when we get our slip out. This is our glue of our clay. SSPS is what we talked about earlier. I'm going to move that around a little bit more. And then it's already been used. Hopefully this one hasn't been used by anybody and see how I just put a little bit. It's on my finger. I'm smoothing it out. Okay. You don't want it sopping wet. Just putting a little bit. Then I would just kind of lightly tap it like that. Now this is the form. This is the outside of what the bell would become. Now the next thing, the most important part that you have to have is a place to put the beads. You're all going to be rolling and making a ball, but you won't necessarily get your own. I take a skewer. These are never weapons. If you misuse a tool, you won't get to use clay. We've already been over that last week. Now you're going to go all the way to the bottom. See how I touch the bottom of my folder. Okay. And I'm being gentle. I'm not forcefully putting it in and then close to it. You want to have a second hole. You don't want to do it teeny tiny, really close to it because what this is for, this can be for your string for your bell. Now you can lift it up very carefully. Okay. And I see, you can see through at this time, after you've made your holes, I want you to put your initials very carefully in your bowl. Cause if I am not careful, what's going to happen, I put my initials PM. What's going to happen is I will go through it and I'll ruin my project. So after you've done this, you take this extra piece of clay and you roll it. Okay. You press it, keep rolling it. Now, do I want this to be really long and thin? No, because I will have a huge handle on my bell. So I kind of get it to, I'm going to flatten mine. You can decide how you want it to look. I press it on this side, press it on that side. And in order for clay to stick, you have to score it. So what am I going to do? You have to score. You can use the toothbrush, a fork. I kind of like the skewers. Okay. You can do it on this side. And then I'm going to have to very carefully put your finger underneath it and create a handle. Okay. Then you're going to set it on top and you decide how you want your handle to look. You are going to see the holes. That's okay. Well, then I test it and I'm going to scratch it here, set it back down, lift this up, scratch it here. That's the scoring SSPS. Remember, now put that on there. I've scored it. I've slipped it. Now that's SSP means I press. Now you're going to very carefully and gently set it down. Then you're going to have to pick this up and you put your hand underneath and you're going to very carefully. This is why we might need to do the name at the end, but I don't want you to forget. You're going to form and smooth it onto the edge of your bowl, which is becoming your bell. Then artist, you can come back in, get a little bit more slip on there. If you need to, that is your glue. But if you press it and smooth it, that's what the other S is for SSPS. If you smooth it, it's kind of like insurance. You're going to make sure that's going to stay. Okay. So you have your bell. My handle's kind of small. Now at this time, if you want to take your bell and you want to reshape it a little bit where maybe it looks more like 
that kind of a bell, maybe like a cowbell from the football game, okay? You could decide, but be gentle with it, okay? You also have little texture tools, or you can take your little dowel rod and you can start doing a design. You could put your initials in it, whatever you want. Be creative. These are very fragile. We've talked about with clay, you have to be careful with clay because what happens, anytime you drop it during your project, if you lose it, you will not have a project, okay? Then you decide if you think that's all you wanna do. Maybe you wanna add in some little dots. Now this part of my handle is a little rough, so it started to crack a little bit, so I'm gonna put a little bit of slip on there. Go back in very gently. You can add little dots if you want to. You remember you have your little tools inside your drawer. That's at your table you could use. Um, this would create a texture, but I have to put my hand on the inside and press it down gently, okay, to create the texture. Let's see if that left, it left a little bit of a texture there. So you decide what you want to do. Then you're also, after you've done that, I want you to set this on your board, okay? At, that's at your table. Every table has their board and they'll go on there and I'll put them on the big ones, okay? After that, you're gonna have another little piece of clay or I'll get you some more clay. All you're gonna do, artists, and if we don't have time for this, that's okay. I'll make a bunch of them. You're going to just take a little one like this, a little piece of clay, roll it, and then this is going to become the bell part of your um, of your bell. That's gonna what's gonna make the noise, and we'll have a string. And I'm looking and I'm checking, and some of my my holes have closed back. So at the end, which is what I want you to do to check it, when I look back and I peeked at it, there, now I can really see and make sure because then the string will go through and that's good to go. And one more thing that we have to do, so we have a place to put the string. Like I said, I might have to do this for you guys, we'll see. Take that skewer, move it through there, make it all the way through. My concern is that the ones that we make, and I've had this hat before with clay, is that they close back up um, when they're fired. So make sure that you go all the way through. Be very gentle with your skewer. Set it down like that. There's my little ball. I set that on the um, tray that's over here to clean up my mess. I'm gonna get all this. I would wad this back up. I can recycle. It'll go back in the crate over here on the counter. So then I'll put that away. I'll put all my tools back where they go. And the nice thing I said, like I said, I'll recycle this. You can take this, kind of tap it a little bit, take that to the trash, dump it, close it, and then you're off.